My name is Annabella Poland, and I'm the general manager at WMSC-FM here on the campus of Mount Clare State University. Now, I joined WMSC in September of 2015. WMSC Radio is a 24-hour radio station at Mount Clare State University. When I first joined in 2019, I was terrified. Well, my first impression was way before I actually joined the station, which was like during my touring of the school or like orientation. And I was like, oh my gosh, this seems so cool. I really want to join it. And then stuff happened and I didn't get to until later. And then I went to the first general body meeting and I was like, wow, these people are really energetic and I'm excited. My first impression of the station was, it seemed like these people were kind of crazy. Like, cause I had like, um, I show up to this meeting and I don't know, a lot of eccentric characters. I thought everyone was super professional. I was blatantly wrong. No, I'm joking. I, I, my first impression was that uh, everyone there was super into it and really had goals that were beyond what I thought that a uh, college could get to. And then I saw the opportunity that was an SMT position applications. And I applied and I expected no response. I expected, this is weird, get out of here. Instead, I got a response and I actually got an interview. Flat out said in the interview, I didn't expect to get this interview. I expected you guys to give it to someone else. And they're like, why? And I'm like, because you really don't know me that well. <laughs> and they're like, hey, we try to help everybody. And I'm like, hey, I appreciate that. But, you know, I appreciate the opportunity and the time. And then I got a message. Ironically, I got the message on my birthday that I was a part of the SMT. And I was like, whoa, it's a good birthday already. So in 2015, the radio station was located at Smith Hall and we were on the third floor, tucked away. And there were students, there were some great students there, but there was no mission, no direction. Now we have an alternative rock and talk format, which allows us to play some indie music, which is our calling, which is what college radio is supposed to do. So there is a little bit of a better opportunity to get the structure down, which is what internships and entry-level jobs are looking for. During the pandemic, it was definitely, it was, it was unique but it was also just for me to learn everything at that time it was kind of chaotic because just i didn't understand what half the stuff meant didn't know how the board worked did not know how the studio portion of it was and i just was really eager to learn what things would be like if, if we were able to get back to normal it was it, it was really different to learn radio like we couldn't really physically learn the board or have that kind of banter you have on radio that you do in the studio it's so different pre-recorded and stuff like the vibe is just not there because you're not live i'm glad wmc stuck with it a lot of college radio stations didn't i um am the web director here at that's crazy i'm the web director i'm used to saying assistant web director i just update the website whenever there's anything i updated the team page making sure the pictures are there um and right now what i'm really trying to do is update the schedule I am the WMC office assistant manager, so I help with the office team and running all of that, and I help Sabrina Heisek, who is their office manager. I also run my own show called Hey There Montclair, which is a public affairs show all about Montclair, on-campus, off-campus events, and trying to connect the community, connect the town. The Morning Buzz is a new show about what's going on locally around the world and everything in between, and it's the college students' opinions on it. My favorite thing about doing Hey There Montclair is Wow. Um, I'm going to say hosting it with Kai Masiak, who's one of my good friends, also our station manager. My show was because we needed uh, an extra time slot, and I cracked a joke to the program director, Nate, saying, we should have Yeehaw Saturdays. And he's like, okay, that's a show now. It's called um, The Midnight Deep Dive. I like that it's late, and I like how I could like turn the lights down low, and it's very pretty in there. Do you have a radio show? I just finished the ADJ program. That's the ironic thing. Awesome. For the longest time, uh, Ben Petrick was like, oh, yeah, you can operate the board. And I'm like, I can't. And he goes, what do you mean? And I go, I, I'm, I didn't pass ADJ the first time around. And he goes, okay, well, just take the test. <laughs> and he gave me the initial test, and I got a D. <laughs> the name of the show is The Variety Hour. It's an hour where I could talk about movie shows, sports, anything I want. I would say that the biggest challenge is remembering that your team changes very often. And just as they get extremely great at the task, they graduate. And um, it's sometimes difficult to try to maintain that bar that you reach because it really depends on the students and their willingness and ability to do something. 
So some of the awards we won in the last few years were Spirit of College Radio Day Award, which is uh, one of the biggest days here at WMSC. It's kind of like our Super Bowl. Uh, we have received a significant number of intercollegiate broadcasting system awards, including this year Best Station in the Nation. WMSC Montclair State. By the Joel Willow Award, which I was nominated by my students, which was really neat. A nice my biggest accomplishment so far in the station i don't know <laughs> i feel like i don't have any big big ones yet i don't know i was in a tiktok <laughs> i oh really cool accomplishment which i don't know if it was accomplishment but kenny took his week off and i got to produce one of the morning buzz shows my biggest accomplishment i'm very proud of being a part of the musical um when we did that because that was just such a nice project and um we got a lot of recognition for it just among the station. So we made a whole musical in two weeks. We just, um, in this room actually, where we're filming this, we just got together and we just made this musical for College Radio Day. And it was really fun. And it was just like nice to play music with people. Music has always been a very solitary thing for me. So to get out and like do it with people was really fun. What has been your personal biggest accomplishment here at the station? How'd you come up with these questions? These are hard questions. Sorry. <laughs> They're meant to trick you up. <laughs> it's not one particular moment. It was more of a culmination of everything I've done here. It was during College Radio Day. And it was the moment during the buzz outside in the 40 degree weather. Me and Kyle and Mike were out there. And for the show, we just finished up our two hours. It's seven to nine. And nine o'clock, I get a text from Annabella and it's like, the mayor Patterson's coming in. He's going to give a thing. It wasn't like, this is your achievement, Kenny, but it was me being kind of the representative of the station in that moment. Mm -hmm. And all the stuff that I had done up to that point gave me that chance to be that representative. So it was kind of like the culmination of all the work I put in. I think our biggest accomplishment was planning our very first in-person event with only having experience with Zoom events. I was really proud of us for that because I think we really pulled it together and everyone said that they had a good time and I don't think they were sugarcoating it. I think they were genuinely like, that was really fun. And that made my heart kind of swell. I was like, okay, we planned an event and people actually liked it and that made me happy. I think my greatest accomplishment would be the revitalization of the engineering team. I think the greatest accomplishment I had was like bringing in the, like making an engineering team, not just it being me and Nate. Like I have four, Four to five engineers, I love them all to death. They're all different. My goal is to be there for people and try and help in any way, shape, or form. But if I could say that the engineering test and the engineering team are my greatest accomplishment in the sense of what I've done so far. My biggest achievement is the kind of trajectory that I see on my students, right? So my product is not really what goes on radio. To an extent it is, right? Because through my students, the content goes out into the world. That's my biggest achievement, the fact that they graduated and they're working in a field that they wanted to be in. The highlight of my experience is probably the funny moments. I, I really love the times where everyone just cracks jokes and we have this long, elaborate argument about nothing. And I, I love, I of course love the work and the things you get out of it, but I also love those memories of where like we just argue about a peanut butter and jelly sandwich of what's better, peanut butter or jelly, or like you argue about anything and everything under the sun that means nothing to the world. I was scared to be a leader at first, scared to be SMT. I was like, am I not gonna do good enough? And I realized I can. I can step up and do all these things. And I think that might be my biggest takeaway is that I'm capable of a lot more than I used to think I was. So being a part of this station and college has kind of given me that confidence to know I can do it in the real world, whatever that means. Despite the fact I didn't sleep for 36 hours, I think World College Radio Day is gonna hold a special place in my heart because it was the first time I proved at the station that, hey, I belong here. The highlight of my experience so far will definitely have to be just being a part of the buzz. It's enjoyable to do. My, my favorite athlete, Kobe Bryant, says, if you do what you love, if you love what you do, it makes you happy. All the hard work and perseverance will pay off. Oh, I don't want to think about graduation. I think I'm going to miss seeing my best friends every single day. I'm not ready to not. I've made so many good and solid friends here, like people I can trust and people I can like go to with like personal stuff and professional stuff. And when I graduate, I know I'm still gonna have those people in my life.
but it's not going to be the same not seeing you guys every day and not interacting with you. I, I like it how it is. But. You're going to like make me emotional over here, Leslie. You asked <laughs> no, me an emotional okay. question, Sabrina. Mm-hmm.